Hey everybody, welcome back to another Beard Guys video. My name's Ben and today we're going to have a look at some of my custom controller settings that I use for PUBG on console. Now, custom controller settings have been in PUBG for a while, but not a lot of people really seem to use them or even know about them. And I've been using them to give me a few handy quality of life improvements that I find very, very useful when playing PUBG on a controller on console. So there's a few different things I want to cover today. The first one is going to be hold to crouch. The second one is going to be how to use meds quickly without having to go into your inventory or bring up the new hotbar. And the third is going to be a nice little tip for using vehicles and changing seats a little bit more efficiently. So if you want to change your controller settings, you can do it from the main menu or from within game by pulling up the start menu and going to controller settings. When you're here, you'll probably see it say type B or type A or type C. You can also go to custom and if you create a new custom setup, it will allow you to clone one of the existing presets. So you don't have to fill in everything from blank. You'll be able to clone it as type B and then add on the changes you wish to make. And that's exactly what I did. So looking at hold to crouch, first of all. So hold to crouch is something that I use because I use an elite controller, which has paddles on it. If you have a controller with paddles on it, this is very effective. You could also do this with a normal controller, but the bind wouldn't be maybe quite as convenient. So what I've set here is I set down on the D-pad. If you select one of these options, you can see here this huge list of things where you can change whatever you want to be down on the D-pad. We can make it fire weapon, ADS, all these different things, interact. By the way, when you see the green icon here, that is the hold button. So this one here means tap to interact, hold to reload. And that's what that is saying. But what we have done is we have put hold to crouch on down on the D-pad. Now I could have put this as B, but that would cause other issues. One of the problems I had before when I tried to put crouch on a paddle on my Elite controller before they put in these options for configurability was that I would knock the paddle by accident and it would knock me out of vehicles while I was driving and it would kill me. So that is something that you can now avoid because you can change it so your crouch button is not B. And that's why I've done that. Down on the D-pad does crouch. Then in my elite controller settings, I have one of my paddles on the back on the left hand side that is bound to down on the D-pad. And so what happens is I press in my paddle on my controller and I'll crouch. And why I have that on the left hand side is because then when I'm gonna ADS, I push in the left trigger and I squeeze in the paddle and I'm basically just squeezing the whole left hand side of the controller and I'll just crouch and ADS and when I let go I'll stand up so it's a really nice effective way of just making crouching uh, very easy in and out of crouch very naturally without having to uh, do anything else and remember to turn it off or on with a toggle and it's just a nice way of making sure you crouch all the time crouching gives you a huge advantage to your recoil so it is definitely worth considering. If you want to try this and you don't have an elite controller or a controller with a paddle, I'd recommend maybe trying to figure out a setup where you could use a claw grip. You could have LB and LT with LB maybe as your crouch button and then you just press the two shoulder buttons to do this, but you would have to adjust uh, your grip in order to make up for the lack of paddle. So the second thing I wanted to talk about was how I use a bind for quickly taking meds. There's these new options that have come in like the grenade menu you can see here and there's the one for meds and also for changing scopes but it's the med one that I actually find most useful. How you can set this up is by going into controller settings then clicking in the right stick you see at the bottom of the screen it says combination click in the right stick it takes you to this menu here and then you can press LB and RB to go between these two tabs and what this basically allows you to set up is a load of hotkeys that will be activated when you press in RB and Y for instance or RB and X or RB and A or LB and something on the D-pad or whatever. As you can see I have these set up so LB and different buttons on my controller will take different meds and so what this means is if I press L, B and B for instance while just standing here he'll start taking a painkiller immediately. I don't have to pull up 
the menu. I don't have to do the little tappy tappy down on the D-pad thing that used to work. I don't have to go into my options here and select it. I can just do meds whilst completely on the fly. So this is really useful. I still sometimes go into my menu to do them because I like to see what meds I have. But I'd really recommend if you're going to set up one thing on your custom key bindings, I think this is probably the single most useful time saving thing you can set up. You can also do the same thing for throwables. As you can see, I do have that set up, but I haven't actually really started using that. It's not been something I've kind of trained myself to do. It would definitely be useful, but I've just not really kind of brought that into my game yet. But I do have it set up so I could press LB and up on the D-pad or right or whatever to equip uh, different throwables. You can see it switches between them by me doing those keys right there. So the other thing I wanted to mention was a, another little trick through that same combination key menu that you might have seen on my RB. Uh, ignore the emote one. This is the vehicle driver's seat. And what this does is that is basically putting you in the vehicle driver's seat. You can select all sorts of different ones where you'll make them go into any of the different specific seats in a vehicle you can see here it's got four five six seven uh, eight nine ten seems quite ambitious i'm not sure what vehicle that's going to be but there's all sorts of ones you can do and you can do your remotes and stuff as well but the reason why a vehicle driver seat is useful is because the current system is if you get in a car and then tap a you'll just move to the next seat in order and kind of scroll through all the seats and then if you want to go to the driver's seat you have to hold down on a so it takes a little bit of time uh, for that hold to move you across but with this change i've made i can use this to just tap r b and a and it will go straight into the driver's seat so if i move into the back and then r b and a and then i'm straight into the seat without having to hold so that's a nice little trick that's just very very slightly quicker than using the default control for that now on top of this there's all sorts of things you could change if you want to the throwable items wheel and the med wheel have a lot of options that have just come in if you want to disable those if you want to put them on a new button or change how you'll, they work you can do that if you want to make any other changes to your settings there's also ways you can do that and you can just generally make your controls exactly how you want them it's a really nice system i'd recommend checking out if you've not done it before there's lots of good stuff in there so that's everything really that i had planned for today i'll put my settings up on screen just so i can scroll through them because people always ask and i do tweak them from time to time they've been pretty standard for a while i'm not sure if the last video is up to date quite on them uh, but just a bonus for everyone who watched the end of the video those are my current sensitivity settings you can see they're pretty uh pretty uniform now and have maybe been tweaked very slightly since last time i did a video so hopefully you found that video useful if you did please think about clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel and don't forget to check our stream out on twitch.tv slash the beard guys where i live stream almost every weekday thanks very much for watching my name's ben we are the beard guys and i'll see you next time